Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marcin Technology and in this video I will be showing you how to set this Dealing DIR506 L mini router. So this is a pretty easy way how to set this up and after setting this up I will be showing you the uses of this mini router. So what you need to do is you will be getting this USB cable with this. I have a video on unboxing of this product so you must have seen this USB cable in that video. So this was just with the D-Link DIR 506L. Just connect this with any adapter you have and put this on your charging port or like anywhere you can. And after that, just go ahead and put this out here, which is this charging port. So you can use this without the bat uh, without this charging too, because it has this huge battery too. But you need to charge another battery up too. So after charging the battery up, you can use that any way you want without the charger. And after that, when you put this on charging, as you can see that orange light is on. That means that it's charging. And if I turn this off, the this will be changed in degree. And after turning this on, as you can see that these LEDs are turning on. That means that this is the first one is the USB one, the second one is the internet one, and the third one is the wireless. So it will turn through these three LEDs up. So to turn on this internet one, you need to connect the ethernet cable. So as you can see here that there is the ethernet cable slot from which you can make this as a mini router get the internet connection so bring any ethernet cable you have for example i am having this this was with the link only so once you connect that it will just authenticate and the internet will come on but for now i'm gonna remove this so remove it very quickly and after that on the top as you can see this is the refresh button let me go ahead and zoom this for you this is the refresh button this is the reset button from which you can put any pen and reset this and this is the usb cable or usb button as you can see this is the same disk usb one just put this in and as you can see that usb light is turned on so for this how do you get this is you need an app called SharePoint. On your phone, as you can see that, a link to that would be in the description. As you can see this share port thing, just go ahead and open the app. Once you open this, just go ahead and connect that to the dealings Wi-Fi. As you can see that dealing DIR506L. Just go ahead and connect this. As you can see it's connecting. It will take a bit time and as you can see the Wi-Fi is connected. So it won't be having any internet connection. You couldn't allow this, and as you can see, it's not having any internet connection. Let's go ahead and open the share pool one, and just cancel these. And as you can see, this is the interface, and this is where you will get all the things. And if there is a movie on this share pool, you can just go ahead and navigate where is the movie, and now you can use it as you want you can watch movie you can transfer any file if your memory is full or photos you can transfer that on that and this is a pretty easy way how to do that and this was the first use of this one so let me go ahead and show you an example like we open my files and as you can see i am navigating through this usb pen drive as you can see these are the files on the usb pen drive and I can assist you that and pretty easy how to do that so as you can see there it's written SharePoint SharePoint means that app only so pretty easy way how to do that let's go ahead and reconnect that and as you can see this is the Wi-Fi connection as I told you that Wi-Fi thing was there and this is it so now I will be showing you how are its uses so the first use you would be getting is as a mini router as you are traveling and if you are in a hotel and you do not get a wi-fi connection and you get an ethernet cable so you what you can do is as you can see it's charged up that's why it's showing like that 
So you can connect the Ethernet cable there and you can get the Wi-Fi connection if you want on your phone. Pretty easy way how to do that as I showed you right now and you can do that very easily. The second thing is you get a stand like you can keep it any way you want connect that and you can use that and the second thing I told you showed you that pen drive thing that was a second thing that was a pretty nice thing you can do watch movie and enjoy this is a pretty nice trick and this is overall it and this is the best to buy mini router for traveling you can get so this is not a high budget this router this is just a mini router which has a budget router this is it so thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please comment if you want any video on thanks for watching and i'll catch you in my next video